so here I'm in blender version 3.2 and you can see all of the buttons I click and type in the bottom right corner right here and I am currently using a laptop without an external mouse so I'm gonna be doing a lot of manual clicking however if you do have an external mouse with the scrolly wheel then you can definitely do little shortcuts but for the most part let's go ahead and let's get started all right so First off, I'll need to press zero to make sure I'm on the right angle. And then I'll press zero back out. All right, so I'll go here. All right, there we go. So it looks like right here. Okay, so I want to be where the green and the red is like this. So this is essentially the Y, the X. And let's just go ahead and let's let's make the bed first. Because that is the essentially the most complicated thing of this project. So let's do a GZ and I'll press one. Move it right above. And then we can press the S key to scale it, Z. And let's make it, let's make it like about right here. And don't worry for the scale because we're going to actually shrink this once we actually have the, uh, the entire uh, bedroom made. But for now, let's go like this. And let's actually do this. Let's do S, Y, 2. There we go. I think that size is decent. Then let's do S, X, 2. And let's see. Actually, I could probably do S, Y, 2. And then we'll just shrink it a little bit. So let me just shrink this a little bit, S, Y, again, and make it like a little bit smaller. Like, yeah, about like right there. Again, this is all preference, but we're basically just making the mattress. Okay, so now I can go here. We can go to our little uh, screwdriver wrench looking thing and then let's go to modifiers and let's add a subdivision surface modifier and now i'm going to press if you're on mac control or command r depending on which one command r for mac but we have to actually go tab into edit mode first or you can manually click right up there too and then we can do control r command r and then we have this loop cut and essentially we want to drag this close to the edge about like right here and then let's do another loop cut again so command r control r once you see the yellow highlight pop up we'll go and drag it like around right here and then we can do another loop cut here and the thing is if you had the uh see if you had the mouse wheel you can scroll but another trick is if you don't have the mouse wheel you can click press escape and then down here at the bottom it actually allows you to add the amount of cuts you want so now, instead of me having to sit there and do it manually, I can just press uh, S. And since I'm on the red, this will be X access. I can press S, X, and then just uh, drag and pretty much just make it like that. So that'll save you a little bit of time. And in terms of the level, let's make it two. So a little more pixels and a little smoother. And I want to add another one like right here in the middle. So I'll do command R again. Let's add one like on this side like that press escape then I can uh, tap out right click shade smooth and for the most part I mean if you wanted to add some more uh, pixels on it here you can make it like this but it does definitely I mean for this project it's fairly simple so I think we can do three but ideally if you're making like characters or something with animations you want essentially less faces so it doesn't like freeze up and lag but this is literally just a little photo we're making, so it won't be too bad. But now, let's do Shift D. Well, actually, let's name this first. Let's just say this, uh, I'll call this one the bed top. We can just say mattress, whatever, but now I want to do Shift D, G, Z, and just drag this down. And I'll put it like right here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, pretty much it's like double mattress on top. And then let me press back zero. Okay, so like this. And now what I want to do is I want to make this where the uh, this is the green, so this is the Y, and this is the X. I want the frame part and the pillows to be on this area. That way, it's just easier. We could always rotate it again too, but I just make it like easier doing it like this. And let's just do uh, first off, yeah, let's do this. Let's say Shift A, Cube, right here. Go to Mesh Cube. GZ1, let's see. Looks like it's still hovering a little bit. It's perfect, that's fine. Do GY over outside. And then press the S, Y, scale it like, let's do about like right 
Yeah, make it like this. And then we'll do GY again. I'll drag it up like here. I'll basically try to make it like almost touching. Actually, we'll just try to make it. Let's just make it touching right there. Okay. And then I can do SX, scale it up like this. And we're going to make it a little bit longer than the bed. So, I mean, you could probably do SX again like that. And then what I want to do is I want to tab into edit mode, control R, command R. So we'll click here and then basically we'll loop cut, except I'm going to make it to press the S and then the X so I can get all the way to the edge. And let's just keep it like, yeah, keep it like that. And then I can go on the face select and then we can select these two faces by holding shift. Just press E to extrude this. And then, I mean, you can extrude this as far as you want to. We'll just go to the line for now. And before we do anything, let me select everything. Do Command A, all transform. Okay, so now when we were to do bevels, it'll be nice and clean. So I can go click back onto this like little frame, tab into it, click on this second one now. So we're doing the edge select. Now we're gonna select these two. Make sure just just the the corners right here. Do Command B or Control B, and then it's gonna do only one. If you have the scrolly wheel mouse, you can scroll it and mix it. Or if you want like a laptop, you can scroll upwards and you make it make it bevel like this. So again, I mean, look at that. Like was that three, six, nine? You can always go in here and change this up. You make it ten or whatever you want. Yeah, I'll keep it like that. And click out when I tab out now you can see it looks like this but I'm gonna make sure I shade smooth and then you're probably like yo this looks way too strange so what we can do is go to our modifiers add modifier and we're looking for edge splits and look at that so let's actually apply these so I can do command a or control a same with this one and no it's it's not gonna apply it until you're finished with it, but for this part, I mean, this one's very simple, so I'm gonna keep it like this. And now, for the uh, bed pillows, let's just go like this, shift, right click, right here with this cursor, we can do, well, actually, let me do it on, yeah, it doesn't matter, let's do shift A, let's make it a cube, scale Z, and there's other ways to make the pillows, but I don't wanna spend too much time on this part because it's fairly simple. So let's do S, X like this, S, Y, like here, and then let's do G, Y up maybe, yeah, like that, then G, X like this. And instead of us having to, well, let's actually do this. G, Z, maybe just until it's touching. And then I wanna make it a little bit of curve, so let's just subdivide this subdivision right here. Let's make it two and let's tab edit mode, control R, click, and I'm just gonna make it manually like this, but you can always do this double scroll wheel, I just press number two like that. And uh, let's see, I think that looks fine for now. I'll just press escape, tab out, right click, shade smooth. And then, uh, let's see, let me zoom in. I mean, it's fine for now. Again, there's different ways to make the pillow much more detailed, but this is just for like uh, placement. So I did Command A to, or Control A to um, apply that. And now we can add a mirror. And this essentially allows us to have it mirror without us having to make another one. And if your yours is on the other side, if you like don't like it, you can press the Y axis too, Z axis, like that. But ours is perfectly fitting. And then if you wanted to like, so for example, you like, hey, my pillows don't look the perfect size, you can press S. And then we're on the x-axis. You can scale them smaller, bigger. I mean, whatever you want, right? And it'll mirror it since it's a mirror. And since that's essentially good, if you if you like the way the pillows look, you can apply it. But if you're not sure, you want to change it later, wait to apply it. I already know I'm going to keep it just like this. So I'll just hit uh, Command A. You can also go here and click on Apply just like that. And then one last thing I want to add is like a little uh, shelf. So let's do Shift A again. Cube. S Z scroll it like this S let's do it X X yeah, yeah go like here and G X right there and uh, let's see G Z make it a little lower than the bed all right so now 
we can do the same thing. We can go here, go to mirror, click on the thing that we want to mirror. So I'll click on our object here and boom, there we go. So now I'm gonna go like this. I'll apply this again. And if you wanted to add like a little uh, blanket thing here too, you could, but um, I might add that later. What I want to do now is make sure we obviously save this. So let me go here and just save this really quick. All right, so I went ahead and saved the file. So now if anything happens, we are good to go. And what I want to do here is I want to color this now because I'm going to duplicate this a lot and I don't want to deal with like having to make color everything once I do that. So let's go here. I mean, we can rename this, call this like the um, bed. Uh, hmm. We can just say backboard. Oh, one thing too, I want to do with a little design too. Yeah, yeah. So let's go back, tab, edit. Uh, Command R again, loop cut. And again, we're just we're just doing it on the um, what's it called? This one right here. But I need to go back to this. Okay, yeah, yeah. So tab back at edit mode. Command R. Oh, I'll tell you. Here we go. Now we're in the um, only in here. And if I do uh, Shift Z, you can see through. I have this little Luca right here. I'm gonna do G Z. I'll move it up like right here so you can see it. Keep it like that. And then I'm gonna do another loop cut like this except this time I'm gonna go here and make it 10 and it's gonna just a preference but now I can select all these so let me go back to the face select select this one and what's cool trick is if you hold option or alt and then click so I go like this it selects all of them and then I can press double I so one two and let me make sure yeah, yeah there you go if you press it only once, it's gonna like, uh, it's not gonna let you do it like this. So I'm gonna press it like that and make it just a slightly inset like this. And then what's really cool we can do here is we can press E to extrude it and just move, make it like a little bit like that. And then here's a cool part: we can do Control B or Command B. But I got to let me see, make sure I have the right. Yeah, just like this, and then we just drag it till it bevels it like however you want and I'm just trying to replicate like a padding section thing on here and I mean again this part you can get fancy with this I'll just keep it like that for now but again feel free to play around with this and if you didn't like this we can go back and command Z or control Z and I can extrude it probably even further and then do command B again to bevel and then I gotta drag this like this it could even go as far as like here, tab. And you can see it's a much more like, uh, how do you say it, like curved out. But I personally, I like it when it's like not too much in. So I just go just enough to where like it doesn't indent it too much like this. And now it looks like that. So again, this little design effect you can add. Again, feel free to mess around with that, play around with it. And that's essentially like if you want like leaning back against it. but. For the most part, if you wanted to, you can also add like a, uh, let's go like here. She, let's do a uh, shift right click and let's press shift A plane and let's do, first off, tap edit mode, extrude it up, scale X and then let's do GY over a little bit. Oh no, GX. And we can press seven to get like the top view too. Then S, uh, what is this at? S, Y. Actually, hold on. I'm in the wrong uh, selection. Let's delete that. I, I messed up. I go tab back out. Let's do Shift A again, plane. Tab back in, E, Z, and then I have to press A to select all of it. But let's just tab back out object mode actually, make it easier. Then let's press, uh, I'm just click it now. Instead, so you don't have to worry about pressing A this time because we're an object and we can just do S, S, right here press 7 to see the top view gx center it like right here s y like this and again you want to see a more detailed video like how i made the cloth and stuff feel free to check that out but i can do like command um watch well, i gotta edit mode command b make a little bevel part but again i'm gonna spend too much time on this one because uh in my other tutorials, like the gaming room videos, I show like how to make a full cloth, like realistic with the creases. I don't spend too much time for that because it's gonna take forever. And for the most part, I mean, this pretty much is like 
the standard default setup. And again, you can get artistic with this and make it your own, you know, design. But let's just call this, oh, it should be caps, let's say pillows. So this is what bed top, we can say like um, bed, bottom, base, whatever you want to call it. We can see these are like the um, cup holders. And then, it should be bag, bag, yeah, yeah. So plain, this can be like the blanket, I guess. And let's see, pillows and folders. So for the most part, I mean, we're good. So now I'm gonna save this. So Command S or Control S. And now let's start actually coloring this now because it's gonna be a pain to deal with this later. So I'm just gonna go here to this little wart icon, plus new. And I can call this like, uh, say red. And then we'll just drag down here. And you want the exact hex code, it's right, E7800. And I can play around these later, but now what I'm gonna do is, let's make these pillows the same color, this blanket the same color, this mattress, let's make this black, and it's called this black like this. And for these wooden boards, I mean, you might as well make them red as well, why not? So again, for simplicity's sake, this is what it looks like, again, it's not in um, cycles either, so it kind of looks, you know, not as clean, but don't worry, we'll work on that later. So for the most part, what we can do is we can select everything, and you wanna check if everything's selected, you press G and move everything around. All right, so perfect. So now, I'm gonna do and press H. So now it's hidden. So now what I'm gonna do is say Shift A, Mesh Plane, and you notice that it actually puts us where the um, the actual origin is, which I don't want it to be. So let's go X here again. And also, if you want to unhide it, you just press Alt H again. So I'll press H again. Let's do uh, Shift S. Let's do cursor to select it. And then, gosh, let's do cursor to world origin, my bad. And now, let's go Shift A, Mesh, Plane. Press S. Let's do uh, 4. And then tab, edit mode, select the two right here, E, Z, five. So now if I press the camera, now, now you see why I kept it there. Because then if I do shift, a um, little top, a little back tick right next to by the one on the keyboard, and I hold shift S, I can move around. And I can see now placements just like this. So now if I go back, test tab, back object mode, I can press uh, tab again to edit. A to select it all, then do Option E, or I think it's Alt E on Windows, extrude face along normals, and then you can see it moves like this, and then you can press, uh, I think it's Option, yeah, Option on Mac, and uh, what was that? Yeah, Alt on Windows. So if you press Option, it evens it out, and then you can like unselect and keep it, yeah, keep it like right here. So click, and now you have little thickness. And then we can do Option H or Alt H, and we have our bed. So check it out. So now you're probably like, yo, this looks massive. So now we can just press S. Actually, before we do that, let me uh, make sure I hide this background first. Select everything again. I want to first off do Command A and apply transform. And then I want to make sure I've added all of our modifiers are, have been applied. Okay, so let's everything is applied. And then I can do Option, H or Alt H. And then I can just select, um, well actually, let's, let's hide, let's do Option H again. I'll just, just, let's just click on the background, hit H. Let me shrink this first. So select them all, press S, and shrink it, make it super tiny, just like this. And then I can do Option H, so there we go, okay. So now I can make this G, X, but I don't want to move the, the plane though. So let's go back here. Let's go click pillow, cup, oh, let's see, yeah, blanket, bed, and I'm holding control by the way. Let's make sure we have cup holders, pillows. All right, so now I can do G, uh, X now. Looks like this. And I mean, in terms of the design, let me see. Let's do GX over here. 
and then I probably do G Y like that. So now I can do Shift D, G, X, move it over like this. I can press seven too to see the, the top view. G, X like that. And then I can do Shift D again. Shift D, by the way, in case you didn't hear it. G, X over here. Shift D, G, X over here. And again, you can always uh, readjust you later. And then let's do Shift D, G, X or G, Y. Put them like right here. Shift D, G, X again. And then, I mean, you could also select all four and just copy that way, but for now, let's do Shift D again, GX like this. And let's about right here. Actually, for this one, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna hide this background. I'll select these two. And then I can do Shift D, G, Y. That way I know it's exactly in the correct position. And then I can do Option, H, or Alt, H again, unhide it. So now this is what it looks like so far. So again, you could go ahead and put these in collections, you know, separate them if you want to. But for supposedly say I keep it like this. And now, if you look at a camera view, it looks like this. What I want to do is make these like elevated. So like, if I go here and press H, I can select these, G, Z, move them up a little bit. Let's go like that. And then I can do Shift A, uh, cube, S, Z. Move it like this, G, Z up, and then let's do G, uh, Y, like this. And actually, I'm gonna do S, X, four. And then Option H, so that should be the exact same length. Then G, Y again, no, 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 just this one. Click on it, G, Y. Like, actually, this should be um, S, Y, two. So, cause it's half of that one, and then G, Y. And then move it over to the edge. And it looks like we need to shrink it a little bit. So I'm gonna say S Y again. G Y. And let me make sure G Y like right there. And now this is what it looks like so far. And let's go ahead. I think that might be a little too high. It is not a big deal. We can always fix this later. But now what I wanna do is I wanna unselect all of these actually. So I'm gonna hide these, select these again, and then G, Y, a little bit more back. And then Option H again, or Alt H, unhide it. And so far is what we got going on. And now we can make a little staircase. So I can tell me just do um, same thing, Shift D, G, Y like this. Click like right here, scale Y, and G, Y again, scale Z. Make it a little smaller, right? Uh, let me go with press three. And let's do G, Z like this. And this looks quite ginormous. So I actually might have to shrink this even more. So let's do S, uh, Y here. And then G, Y right there. And definitely, I wanted. I only wanted this to be like a one step, but since we're here already, might as well make it a two step. So let's do a G, or let's do no. Let's do S Z, a little bit bigger, G Z, like this. And actually, yeah, put it down a little bit lower. Shift D again, G Y, like here, scale Z. Make it shrink, G, Z, S, Y, scale it, G, Y again, like this. And again, the staircase, it's a little big, but I mean, you can always go in here and make it shrink or whatever you, uh, your preferences are. But for the most part, I'm just going to keep it, let's do probably S, Y again, like right there, make it a little more proportional. And then G, Y. And then G Y like that. So I don't want to spend too much time on the staircase. Make it a little more G Y like that. There's a bunch of different ways you can do that, but I'll keep it like that for now. And then this part looks like it's sticking out. Let me make sure I go to the max like this. I right, save that. Yeah, yeah. 
we can always fix these um, kinks later, but um, for right now, I'm going to keep it like this. And now, let's go like this. Click here. Shift right click. Make sure we save this first. So after you shift right click, you can do shift A like this. We can make a uh, cube S, S, and then let's do Y, scale and Y axis. And then let's look at it from a top view actually. Let's do S, Y again. A little bit smaller like that, just enough to where it sticks out. And then I can do scale, let's do, let's see. Yeah, press one so it's on the front view. S, X, make it like this. S, uh, Z, make it as Z again, a little bit bigger. And then just general S, I wanna make it scale as much as I can. And then G, X, somewhere towards the middle. S, X again. And let's do S, Z. And I was trying to make it as much as I can. So let's do G, X, like this. And G, Z, like that. For the most part, there's our screen. And what we can do is actually do Shift A again. Click on image, image as plane. And then I'm gonna add in an image from my uh, computer so you can find any one you have. So I just had this image just from a popcorn image. I just got this off of um, Pixabay. And if you if you notice, if we click on the uh, final uh, color render, you can see the image like this. Now, if you don't have an image, feel free to ignore this for right now and just follow along what I'm doing. But basically you can press R, Z. Let me see, it's 90 minus. So I go erase it, minus 90. And then G, uh, Y, Stick it out like this. Actually, I could do tab and then extrude it to a little bit just to get like a some thickness on it. And then tab again. Press S. Scale this bad boy up. Press one to uh, see the front view. S Z. Scale it down like this. G Z. And then let me zoom out a little bit. S Z again, G Z, S X, G X like this, and let's see. I think I shoot it a little bit too much. So check tab again, G Y, and bring it as close as I can to normal. Okay, there we go. So now this is what we got going on so far, and in terms of the thickness, it looks like. I could probably scale this Z up a little bit more. Yeah, I'm trying to see the difference in terms of the length of the uh, background. And the easiest way to do this is if we click on the um, this this background here. If I change this color to like, uh, I mean, we have black here. Let me make another black to make it a little darker, but not all the way. And then, I'm, okay, so now I can see much better. So now I can go here, press SC, scale this up, go here, GZ, like this, and I'm just going to do this bottom piece. Let me hide really quick, Clean Z. So it must be just a shadow. But for the most part, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I got like this, and then I can click on the um, this outline here. Uh, do new again except this time we're gonna change this to a mission make this like a 10 maybe and we can play around in a second for these pieces I want to make these um, the same material as the uh, the overall background part so it's not like all the way dark black but it's like enough where you can see like there's like a little bit difference and then for the um, can we make the, the beds bigger? No, we keep like this. Next thing I want to do is go here, shift, cl right click, shift A, mesh, cube, S, uh, let's do, was it X? Shrink it like this. And then as Z. And let's do GZ 
SY, scale it up, GX, no, no, GY. So I'll cut it like right here. And this is a cool trick. We can actually go to this modifier tab, add modifier, go to array, and final count, let's do S to Y, zero. Let's do 1.1. And then we can make this like four. And this is just for like decoration purposes, but tab here, and this is our main one, so we can press tab here. Loop cut, so command R, control R, click, escape. Let's make this um, 10. Actually, let's do eight. And then command R again, click, escape. Let's do four. Actually, let me see, five would make it yeah, like this. So now if I were to face select these all, First off, let's make this um, one color. Let's make this a mission right here. And then I'm gonna add another color tab. I'm gonna shift select, hold on. And I'm only gonna select like every other one. So you can make it like a checkerboard basically. And if you if you accidentally click on the same one, just um, while you're holding shift, by the way, I'm doing this. You can just like hit shift again and then click it, it just goes away. And then let's see, like this. This will give us just like a design preference. And I can um, hit the plus sign, let's do new. Let's do uh, mission again. Click here, red. Assign. Look at that. Look at that. Sick, yo. And then, I mean, last thing we could add is like a um, lights on the, uh, like you add lights on the bed probably, or even like in the, um, I could just add them on the bottom of the bed, but I don't make, I don't make it too difficult. So also the beds look like they're kind of hovering right now on this one. So what I could do is just like drag them down. Like, uh, let's see. And like GZ like this. And that's where you guys could go ahead and do that later, but for the sake of simplicity, I don't want to waste too much time on that part. But I mean, you can't even tell. It's like, you know, can't even, literally can't even see it. So I press zero now. Let me try to save this. If I go to the um, cycles now, it looks significantly different. And then I want to make sure these actually are a little bit brighter. So I can do like five. Yeah, look at this. And then I can go here. I can erase this one. Go here and make this one like five. And it might be too much. So I'm with like two. Let's do two here. This one may be way too bright. Let's do four. And I can add some more lights, which I'll go ahead and just show you really quick. Let's go back to um, EV. So here, I can actually duplicate this. So Shift D, G Z, scale it like on the Z axis, scale it on the Y, like basically make this like a, like a super super thin, and then go on to three G Z here, G Y, like that. Click here. So I have it like this. I'm gonna do Shift D again, G Y, G Z, just like that, and then Shift D G Y again, and then uh, G Z, like this. And now, if I were to go to Cycles, you can't really tell here unless I make it. Let's do one here. Shift D, G, Y, no, G, Z. Let's go back to three. G, Z, G, Y. And let's do like a little bit less. So it looks a little bit different from here, but you can see this is what it looks like right there. And then from this view, it looks like here. So it doesn't look the coolest. I don't really like this setup. So I could actually just shrink this S, um, let's do S, no, S, X. And I could put these like, 
literally on the bad part. Looks crazy right now. Hold on. Like G Y like this, G L G X, and put stuff like here on the bed. But I don't want to spend too much time on this. But you get the point. So if I were to shift uh, shift D G X like this, and then um, go to seven. Click on these both. Shift D G Y, and then G Z. G Z again. And now we go to Z, uh, zero, go to cycles, and then when I first make the um, this background, pitch black first. And if you make it full white, you can see. But like, let's do it like this. Then actually, I don't really like this mission. A little too bright. Let's keep it at one. And then, I mean, we can always change the color to two of these things too. Like, um, if I go here, click them, GY like this. So the picture looks much brighter. And I could always make these like a different color. So if I wanted to make it like, um, like a bright yellow, then I could easily do it like that. And then I could change this one to a different one. That way I don't have to worry about, um, making this like something else and then I can just go here and erase this one so now if I were to make these like a red like look at how different it looks like that looks pretty cool here maybe even purple blue even light blue keep it like this let's do uh, four right there let's do four Actually, let's do let's do ten. Let's see what happens. Nice and bright. Zoom back out. So again, that might look that might be a little annoying if you're watching the actual movie, obviously. But we go like this, darken it even more. Let's see. Yeah, keep it like this. Let's see different colors. Again, feel free to play around with this. I don't spend too much time, but um. For the most part, I'm gonna keep it like a light bright blue for now. And then we just simply go and render the image. Now again, you can go ahead and like um, change the colors, the lighting, but also where is my lamp? I can go here, make this like an area. G, Y here, G, Z, rotate. And let's do, yeah, let's rotate this into the actual um let's do g o y again and actually a yeah, g y over rotate for zero again and for the most part i mean you can add another lighting if you wanted to but i want to keep like this um kind of like a dark because obviously it's a movie theater guys so it's kind of be like a little bit darkish and then also for the camera go back let's make sure actually I'll just click on it like this and let me see hold on there we go click it on the camera I want to change this to orthographic and then I gotta scroll this backwards like this and I think this shift wise up yeah we up like this and then let's see for the um if I were to change this to this, this is like 200, too dark, too, mm, let's keep it, at, let's do 800, and then I'll just do GZ, make it a little bit shorter, but then rotate it a little bit more, and I don't really like this, um, this whitish color, so I'm going to make it like, I'm actually going to make it more red, keep it like this. But then the popcorn logo looks kind of, kind of weird. Yeah, I should just keep it at white. Keep it at white just to make the popcorn look like this. And again, feel free to play around with the lighting. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, but now we can just go ahead and press render image like this. And if you wanted to actually go to this render up here, and actually no, it's this one. And this is where you would save your file to wherever you want it to be. So let's just go ahead and 
do that and then you just hit render image there and then you're pretty much good to go.